Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Miss Survival, where we have changed houses. I think Monogard changed houses too, didn't you, Monogard? <laughs> yep, I'm moving uh, right now. <laughs> uh -huh. So, hey guys, so check it out. So I went ahead and moved everything. I moved the distiller over, and you know what happened when I picked it up and I put it back down? It actually continued to create water. So, um, so it created four more liters of water, which it finished the job that it was set out to do, which is really cool. I have the two um, water barrels right here, which I'm gonna start to fill with water uh, as we speak. Watch, if I just go like this, and I grab all this water right here, and we just go like that, and I go like this, and I go interact, and I go like this, and I just go give. It'll fill all this, and then I have these empty water bottles which I really am not going to need because the, the distiller makes all the water bottles. So now we have all these empty water bottles that we're going to be able to fill with with uh, dirty water if we need to. I'm not really sure if I need these water bottles or any or not, but uh, I might just throw them away. Because I don't think I really, except for re refilling water bottles, but all I need is one water bottle, which I think I have over here in one of these inventories. Um, I moved all these lockers over. There were two lockers here. I moved my three lockers over. I uh, moved my grill over, I moved, I, I did all this by hand, mind you. I did, I moved this over, I moved this bag over, I moved this over. This one was already here. So um, I want to fill these two water barrels up. They, they hold 100 liters a piece. I want to fill these up before winter comes because I want to make sure that I have plenty of water for winter. And uh, in the meantime, I think I'm just going to be do like, like every other human being on the planet does and just start throwing stuff off in the landfill. That's my landfill right there. Oh my God, this is going to drive people nuts. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And also people are like, well, what, what about your, your workbench? Guess what? Right down here is a gas station or a, 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 um, a garage. And uh, I already, I think I already looted this once, but um, yeah. Oh, there's a tire right there I'm going to use. There's an ax, but this, already, this has its very own workbench. So we're going to just pick this up. And we're going to take it with us. We're going to take it with us. I'm going to get it out there if I can get out the door. I've done it before, so I think I can do it now. And like that. And can I just kind of, just kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, just kind of, uh-oh. Put it down. Pick it up. Move it. There. There, 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 we go. All right, now we're going to move this back over to this house. I could make my own workbench, but why bother? When you can move stuff in this game, why would you even think about, if it's close enough to your house, why would you even worry about, um, why would you even worry about making it? I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, so let's go ahead and rotate this real quick so we can make it through the door. And, okay, uh, I'm going to have to rotate this a little bit more, I think. I might be able to get it this way, maybe. Aha! Can I get it through the door? Go through the door. You know you want to. You know you've done it before, dude. Get through that door. Okay, I'm just going to put it down. Then we're going to pick it up again. Come on. I've done this. And you know what? Hang on. Put it down. Pick it up this way. And there we go. There we go. And I'm going to rotate it. I think I'm going to put it like this to block this window like I did on the other one. And then we're going to just place it like so. I don't really necessarily feel like anything needs to be able to be seen through that window. because And this is going to block this window. So I don't think anything's going to be able to get through here. So I think we're going to be good. Nothing's going to be able to see me. Hopefully nothing can shoot me through there. And I don't think unless something I, I'm going to put something else over here. So I think that that's going to keep um, the baddies from coming and 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 shooting and shooting my me in the face. I hope. I hope I can I can barricade myself in this in this house and everything's going to be just fine. And this is where the bedroom's going to be. I'm going to put the uh, campfire right in here, I think. And, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty confident about this. But there is another storage unit, I th or another um, another locker. I'm going to go get over here too. And then we're going to start putting together everything we need for the rest of the house. Um, I do need some food. Um, I think I'm doing okay on food right now. I've got a little, I, my hunger and my thirst are okay. But I think I'm going to need a little bit more storage space. I mean, there's three lockers here, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move this. We're going to move these lockers back over here. And it's moving day at the house, man. And since it's so close, my stamina is not going to be running out. So I'm going to be pretty good about, about all my stamina is going to be not running out. So, Monogard, how many storage uh, containers do you have right now? 
I have three lockers. The house that I moved into has a filing cabinet, which has three drawers, and I think I'm going to go steal the two filing cabinets from the garage as well. So I will be set on storage for a while. Can you pick up filing cabinets? I haven't tried yet, but I'm going to find I out. I don't know that you can. I think it's only the storage lockers that you're able to um, pick up. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I, hope, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But... Um, File cabinets have six um, drawers a piece, so, right? Or three? Three. Three. Three a piece, and they hold as much? Um, actually, I think the drawer, you know what? Let me check. I just made it back to the house. You're right. There's no move prompt, um, but it looks like each drawer holds 5, 10, 15. So, yeah, that's like three lockers. Yeah, so you can't move it, but there's three lockers worth if you can get one in the house. So that's good. And Monogard's house is over there across the street, guys. We'll go check out where she's living here in a second. Uh, even though you, she's not actually living in this game because it's not co-op. But, uh, but we're playing at the same time in our separate games. Until, you, until the, the creator uh, puts co-op in the game, this is how we're going to roll. So, uh, but we're, yeah, we're having fun talking about, you know, our different experiences together. Um, just trying to figure out how the game works and what works the best for us. I'm in a different cabin than she is because um, I, I think I'm going to like this a little better because of the way that it, it's butted up against the cliff. Plus, there's that drop right there. It's going to make it hard for NPCs to get up. And I'm going to wall off this whole area. So it's going to be kind of like a moat type of thing. Um, we're going to see how it works. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of liking this the way this is setting right now. I'm going to open this up. Where am I going to put these lockers? I think I'm going to put these other three lockers right maybe right against this wall. I think that's probably the best bet. Let's do that and move this in here. Then I'm going to rotate this sucker like this. I don't really necessarily need to see when the distiller's working. So, but. I'm probably going to end up with a lot more, a lot more storage than I originally intended. Because there's other houses around, like the one Monogard's um, in right now. She, there's at least one, one more of these lockers in there, Monogard. Yes, in this, in the uh, second room downstairs. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to actually probably go get that here in a minute when I show the rest of the the people where you're living. Um, and the reason that Monogard liked it was because there's an upstairs attic that you can live in. And it's close to the water. And it's closer. closer to the water, yeah, yeah. So, and that didn't matter to me so much because I'm going to go, I'm going to make a bunch of buckets. And I, so I'll, I'll be able to make one trip and it won't really matter to me. But Monogard, you know, you, you, you teach their own, right? Yeah, so. And, all right, so there's eight. I have eight lockers right now. Was there anything any, any, in, this lock, in these lockers? I didn't even check. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, good. They're empty. All right, cool. So I'm going to go down and make sure I didn't forget anything. I think there's one more tire over here that I needed for my car. And then what we'll do is I will get the car started. We're going to put the car together today as well. And then we'll go back over and show, show you off Monogard's place. I'll grab that axe too while I've got it. Um, let's make sure I haven't forgotten anything here. Um, you can't live in the garage because there's no there's no prompt for it to be your. I guess you could live in the garage and you could like use the other house as your oh candy bars. <laughs> there's uh, you could use the uh, the garage as as your base of operations, but it's kind of kind of cluttered. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Um. Okay. There's uh, there's some cloth. Um. Yeah, I can see why you would want these file cabinets. That's they're they're really good. Right, there's nothing else there and you live literally across the street from me don't you yeah <laughs> okay, cool anything in here no oh there's gas in there though um so what i need to do is i need to make a jerry can and um actually i'm gonna pick this up because i'm gonna move this this is gonna be a that's going to be a light for me for later. There's a little porch light happening right there. And then let's see, what, 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 what do I need for a jerry can? For a jerry can, I need, I need four metal scraps and four components. Let me go ahead and put these candy bars away. Let me put all this stuff away, except for that tire. 
four metal parts and four scraps. Or four components and four scraps. Um, oh wait, there's batteries here. That's right, I took everything out, didn't I? And let's see, what do we have here? Um, so I need these guys and I need some scrap. I don't see any scrap. Okay. Um, there's my scrap for my jerry can. Have any other any other car parts? I don't know if I have any other car parts laying around. Um, thinking. Oh, there's another tire. So, but no. That's it. All right. So let's make a jerry can, right quick. A gas can. All right. That didn't take long. All right, we have a gas can, it's got no gas in it, and then we're gonna go siphon some out of another car. And all my stuff is in this car right here. So we're gonna see, see if there's any gas in this car right here. There's 0.83 liters, so I'm gonna put the jerry can in here. I'm gonna fill the can. See how, see how the dot is going back and forth? You either fill the tank or fill the can. So we're gonna fill the can. All right, so that's got 0.83 liters in it. Does this thing have any gas in it? It says 1.21 liters, so we're going to go ahead and fill the can again. And that's 205. And how about this one isn't anything, so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and open the hood. I'm going to put, we're going to fill the tank. And then. We're gonna put, let's see, what's the best battery? This is this is a good battery, 79, 79% battery. That's a 79% battery. Let's go ahead and go over here. Um, so I've got an extra, I've got two extra batteries here. Uh, I only have one spark plug though, that's the thing. Um, we have an extra tires in case I blow a tire. I don't know why I would blow a tire. Uh, the best engine I've got is 51.5%, so we'll grab that. We'll go ahead and put um, let's put all four tires in. It's ten minutes a piece for those. I don't want to get in too too late, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this one. And one more. And then we've got the engine the and the spark plugs to put in. So we'll put the engine in next. That takes 20 minutes. And then the spark plug is take five minutes, right? Three minutes. Okay. That's super fast. Now it's like uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. We have everything that we need. The car is ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Hit F to drive it. Hit e to start her up. Hey, we got a car, I'm on a guard. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. So kind of herky-jerky to to uh to drive around so we're not going to drive this too far we're just going to drive it right into our parking lot parking space right here and there it's got we have a little uh dip oh if you leave it running though you're going to run out of gas so i eat it turn it off and close the door there we go we got a little sedan action happening a little, a little suv action happening anything in my trunk now i got all my parts that i want i'm gonna pull these these feathers out these rocks out i don't need those but I will need these extra parts just in case um, we have any issues. So I, I'll put the jerry can in. Actually, I'll keep the jerry can with me. I might fill. Nah, nah, we'll leave it in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll just, uh, and we've got our car. That was nice and easy and quick. So I'm going to go ahead and drop everything off. And then we're going to go show you Monogard's house. And I'm going to grab that other, that other storage container. So close the door behind us. That's so cool. Got ourselves a little rust bucket. <laughs> and let's see here. So you live literally across the street from me. Yep. Which is right here. Yeah, this house right here is where Monogard lives. Now there are some NPC camps around here. And I don't know, is it to the left? If I'm looking at your house from the road, is it to the left or to the right? To the left. To they the have left? like a sheet metal fence around part of their place. Okay. So what about the house that's right behind yours? Uh, that's just an empty cabin. Okay, I'm gonna Smaller go check than that mine. One out. Yeah, I'm going to go check that one out first. Yeah, I haven't looted it yet in my game. So that's my next uh, objective after I get this uh, workbench. There's bench. a zombie in that house. There's oh. two zombies in that house. Good to know. Yeah, so... Eh.
I'll move that down a bit on the to-do list. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it for right now. Um, but this one right here is empty. And the reason that Monogard liked this gun, guys, is because uh, it's got it's got this attic up top. I don't know what you're planning on doing. Are you living up there? No, I have my uh, water distiller and my water tanks up there. Oh, uh, okay. Um, do you think that the, the bandits might, might be uh, coming for your distiller one day? <laughs> well, not a joke. The, I mean, I'm seriously asking. Um, by the time I, by the time they start to get nosy, I hope to have some barricades up around the actual house. So okay, cool. It's so, more of a space issue. Ooh, I I found some nine mil ammo and and some components in mine. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna put it outside actually, because um, you can actually break down these these uh, tables. So I'm gonna go ahead and see where, where's my hatchet. My hatchet's in my number one slot. I'm gonna just we're gonna just knock these things apart and uh, get parts and pieces, wood and what whatnot from them. So that's what I'm gonna. Do. And yeah, all this wood scrap is gonna go with me, and then this can go with me as well because there's no reason to let it sit there. I might kill those zombies here in a minute. I mean, I don't have shotgun shells. I can do that. I'm go over and get the. Wait, do I have the shotgun on me? I think I do. I do. How, how many shots do I have on me? Whoops! No, 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 no. What are we doing? Um, I have seven rounds. I don't know. If, I'm that. It's probably going to be enough. Let's go. Uh, let's go do some zombie killing. What do you say, guys? Let's do some zombie killing. I'll clear it out for you, Monogar. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I missed it. What? God damn it, get off of me. No! He it, it just, it just killed me. Because I got stuck. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I, when you're in your face, you can't do anything about it. I'm going back for my stuff, obviously. Um, I'm not injured. So, man, I got cocky. And you can't shoot through a window, I don't think, so. Maybe I could, maybe I can. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab that, grab my stuff and kill that other zombie, I guess. I just wasted a bunch of ammo. Let's go grab this guy. And I lost everything. So where are we at here? Uh, I have three shots left. Are they dead? I think you're gone. I think you're dead. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I and I guess if uh, I guess if you get killed by them, they disappear if they're outside of the uh, the house. Good to know. All right, let me go ahead and reloot all my stuff. Electric part, rag, beer can. What? Oh, beef can. I thought I said beer can. I was <laughs> like, oh, we have beer in the game. What? Bottle, scrap. What else we got? Anything decent? Um, oh, okay, let's see. We got some more shotgun shells. We'll go ahead and just uh, reload that. All right, that was almost worth. And got a sewing, two sewing kits. That's good. Got a bandage. That's even better. Electric part. And I should be able to crowbar this thing if I had a crowbar. I have to go get a crowbar. I have to go make a crowbar real quick. So, but I, there's two more, there's two more of uh, these, um, these items here. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. We're going to move them outside and I'm going to grab, just in case these zombies respawn for whatever reason. I'm going to put these over here. Actually, I'm going to carry this one with me. And now we're going to make a crowbar and then we're going to get into that room because that spare room, sometimes they say are, there might be survivors. And if they're survivors, they, they're like, they're your NPCs. So I don't know, man. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen, I've never 
experienced an NPC in this game, so I don't know. Is that one? We got two more to get. Oh, I gotta get make a crowbar. Hang on. I gotta make a crowbar. Um, okay, so make a crowbar. I'm gonna need six metal scraps and two components. So I gotta need a few more metal scraps. And we'll make a crowbar. Takes a while. Understandably. And I guess I will do that. Let's go ahead and put a lot of this stuff just away real quick. No reason to have all this. Because I don't think I'm going to need it. And... Yeah, wait. Oh, there we go. Alright. We're going to crowbar our way through this. And see what the magic room has. Was there was there a person stuck in there, waiting for me to rescue them, or is there just like a can of beef <laughs> <laughs> that is half spoiled? Whoa! I almost went to that camp. Where the heck did I go wrong? I almost went to that camp, my guy. <laughs> with the fence around it and it's to the right it's not to the left it's like right next to you it's pretty close oh there's another um there's another uh watchtower up there hello 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 is anybody in there is anybody in there? I found a vest, an armor vest. Ooh. Armored vest, yeah. Oh, look at that. Armored vest. Very strong, it says. Equipment. <laughs> Put that on, on my vest armor. Oh my god, I have armor now. What? That's really good. I'm glad we did that. I'm glad I died. It was worth dying. Just for that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's pick this up, take it home. It's going to get dark in a second. All right, guys, well, I'm going to carry this stuff home, and then I guess we're going to go ahead and start uh, looking at what we're going to do for the next step in this, this whole build uh, in Mist Survival. So hey, if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you next time in another episode of Mist Survival. You want to say goodbye, Monogard? Goodbye. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.